They even want to try and rig the election at the polling booths, where so many cities are corrupt and voter fraud is all too common. And then they say, oh, there's no voter fraud in our country. There's no voter fraud. No, no, there's no voter fraud. Take a look at St. Louis. Take a look at Philadelphia. Take a look at Chicago. And then I have even the Republicans saying, oh, this is a wonderful — look, look, if nothing else, people are going to be watching on November 8th. Watch Philadelphia. Watch St. Louis. Watch Chicago. Watch Chicago. Watch so many other places. Now, there's a voter fraud also with the media because they so poison the minds of people by writing false stories. They are the — I believe, actually, they are more crooked than crooked Hillary. I really do. That's a lot. Now, they say we're tied in Colorado. I don't think so. I'll be honest. I mean, something's going on here. Something's going on. You know, they say we're tied. Every place I go, we have thousands. And you can't — honestly, you don't know what's on the other side of this wall. You won't even believe it. But they say we're tied. I don't think we're tied. Another one says we're two up. One says we're four up. One said we were six or seven down. That was the one that they show on television. They don't show the other ones. These people. But they say, let's say we're tied. Then how come we have thousands and thousands of people? Thousands and thousands. Sort of an amazing thing. I mean, you can't believe anything you see. I don't even believe the polls. I see these polls, and they're not terrible. They're sort of good. Actually, if the people come out and vote, they're very nervous. I have a feeling this is another Brexit. This is going to be interesting. They don't want to show you the good part. And if they take five polls of the same group, they'll always show the bad one.